Good morning. No, it's not morning. <laughs> Good evening. Evening. Uh, so what is it? Monday night? And um Monday yeah, night Monday night. lights. And so we're leaving painting with Bob Ross. Yep, painting with Well one Bob Ross and two uh kindergartners. We're gonna see if we can have some more happy trees. We're not finger painting this time though. Uh and look at I couldn't find my brushes, but look what I got. And I got this. I'm in it to win it, I told John. I'm serious. And I got each of us a little easel. Yeah. So I'm trying to even just get the plastic off this. So uh, we'll check in. We made a bucket list of what we want to do before we leave. And this was Bob Ross's request <laughs> that we paid because he knows that he's doing do better than us. No. Well, look at Keith thinking about it. Think. <laughs> we don't know what we're going to paint. We're not painting. I'm inner, not painting the river it's again. It's a stress I'm trying to channel here. my inner Matisse. Since we had such a stressful Your inner day. Bob Ross? Because no, there's the inner, outer Bob Ross. Oh, Matisse. Ross. No, no, I'm going okay. out. Okay, well, we'll check in and let you know how it's going. The rabbit okay. thing. What'd you say? I got really bad hair. You got bad hair? We yeah. said that last time. You always have bad hair. Oh, well. That's what you're, That's what makes you endearing. <laughs> okay, well, come on, John. Time to show. Oh, I'm not done. I know they're not done, but the sun's going down, so. Oh, okay. okay, people. <laughs> Be picture, prepared. Picture the Sistine Chapel. It's interpretive, okay? Jeez. Picture the Sistine Chapel, you're lying on the floor and you're looking up there, and then all of a sudden this is a, what you see. a little thing from heaven comes down. And I'll this, tell you what I told them it looked like. This this is what you get. Ooh, <laughs> flying angels. Um, I told them what I thought it looked like, but we won't say it out here. Look at them. Okay, John. Oh, I'll show mine. Okay. Ooh, it's all wet, so and there you go. Remember, it's all interpretive. We didn't have much time. No. The sun was going down. That's my excuse. Yeah. Looks very Sedona. <laughs> Sedona. That's it. Oh, oh. no. Look at it. I like that, actually. <laughs> oh, there's a, a, a spigot oh, over there. Tracy, did you show them the little easels? Should go like this. <laughs> right on your shirt, your white shirt. Okay, John. Oh, yeah. I got oh, little wow. easels for us all. There you go. Oh. oh, he said he liked finger painting better. I do. I like finger painting better than brushing. So there you go. That's what we got. But I'll show yeah. you what we're looking at. So there you go. Not many more nights of this, huh, guys? Right. Sad, huh? It's finally quiet after the weekend. No yeah, music. Would have been a whole different painting scene. The sun's going down. Yeah, I think we've. Uh... We're gonna make spaghetti. We confirm one thing. What? I have no artistic ability to see Mmm, spaghetti. Good morning. We have a special adventure today. So I even took off of work today, although it's kind of cloudy right now, but I think it's gonna get really nice. And it doesn't matter anyway for what we're doing. We are going snorkeling at Devil's Den. Uh, so if you look on the website, well, you'll see it in person once I get there, but it looks so beautiful. And since being here, really the ocean or water, the rivers, whatever, have been calling my name. And so that's what we are doing today. So it's like two hours away. So we are about to get on the road. So let's go. So we made it to Devil's Den. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> snorkeling by reservation only so if you come make sure you have a reservation Ooh. Right in there. Oh, pretty. okay i'm looking forward to it everybody's really nice here so we have to come back closer to noon like 10 minutes Oh, there's a kitty. Look at, there's a cat right there. I thought yeah, there were no. It's got a, a bit of an issue. Yeah, look, it's got a bit of an issue. The devil got to it. The devil's dead. Look what I found. Caterpillar. Pretty. 
Really? Look at what I found. I haven't seen so many caterpillars ever. Okay. We're getting ready to go in. I'm using one of Keith's uh, scuba suits. It's supposed to be 72 in there, but uh, the guy said it still feels cold. So, yeah, can't wait to get in. John's getting in his wetsuit. Keith had to run to bring all of our valuables. They don't have a place to put your valuables, just so you know. So, um, yeah, they said that you can leave your stuff on the picnic table. Okay. <laughs> the devil went down to Georgia. Okay. Going into the devil's den. Rules for entering the devil's den. Oh my. Look at this. Oh boy. Look at this. disappointing. He's down there for maybe 15 minutes. First of all, my mask didn't work, and then John's snorkel didn't work. He was taking in water, and uh, 
it was so small and there were kids down there. I love kids, but you know, in a small space and they were like peeping and splashing and you couldn't get to the platform. Keith, what'd you think? Uh, don't waste your money. Hour and a half. 25 bucks or 20 bucks because I have my own equipment. Um, you swim around it twice, you've seen everything. Yeah, there's nothing, there's no, hardly any fish, too. There's yeah. nothing to see. Well, the fish are not going to be there, anyways, with all the people. Who... When there's so many people that yeah. you can't, and kids. I mean, like I said, yeah. I love kids, but you know, the, yeah, the no, little was, boy was. It was too yeah. crowded for the size. Yeah. The space that was there. It, so yeah. It was a little disappointing. And I had to pay 32 because yeah. I had to rent the snorkel and the, um, yeah. yeah. But, you know. But you've seen everything, uh, what I've showed you on the film. They've seen everything. You don't need to come. Yeah. Save your 32 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so we had driven by this when we were coming here. And that's why we were thinking of more things to do here because Devil's Den was such a bust. So look what we're doing. We're going to give luck. I said, yeah, let's do something good for somebody today. So that's what we're going to do. Let's give some blood. Then we got the Canadian. Surprised they take Canadian blood. <laughs> it's like fine wine, right? <laughs> they have to wait for one of you guys to get out. Whatever gets my blood, the IQ is going to rise automatically. Okay. Okay, Keith. Okay, we got back and the minute I stepped in the van, it started pouring. I mean, pouring. The van was blowing and uh, I think it even hailed a little bit. But uh, yeah, so it was nice and then went back there and uh, took a little nap. <laughs> so Keith and John and I uh, just ate dinner. We just had leftover spaghetti from last night and yeah. I'm going to go back and finish editing this, and then I have a coaching client tonight, and then I am going to bed. So, uh, yeah, you know what to do. Go out and make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You have to sell everything and move into a van. I did that. You don't have to do anything that big. Just go out and try new things, whether it's food or... A different place or walking around your block and just notice things and even like today even though the cave diving or the snorkeling was a little disappointing you know we talked about it's like well you never know and that was an adventure in itself and for me it was great that we were all together again we laughed all day <laughs> and then to stop at the big red bus and I was so happy that we did that because you know I usually stop for the big red bus and Keith that was the first time he ever gave blood so thank you Keith and uh, John loved it too so yeah so our hearts are full and um, you know I heard something the other day I would give credit to whoever I heard it from but I don't remember and they said the destination of the journey is death and I know that sounds, you know, a little, um, you know, not happy, <laughs> but it's the truth. And it just struck me, you know, certain things just, you know, make me think a lot. And that was one of them. And, and that is the truth. That's the destination for all of us. So I hope that you go out and live on this journey because that's the end of the road of the destination for all of us. So I hope you make the best of it. Okay. Okay. You know what to do. Go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them that you love them. And don't you dare forget your magic. Okay. I will see you in the next one. Bye.